Hello, so in the previous video we discussed how to define response data uh, or uh, generate uh, structural response data using uh, a nonlinear multi-degree of freedom uh, shear model uh, that uh, is being analyzed uh, through uh, OpenSea's uh, platform. So in this video, we are going to discuss uh, the second option for generating uh, structural response data uh, using the FEMA P58 simplified analysis uh, procedure or method. Uh, so this uh, actually, if I go here to the response data, uh, so this is the last option that we see over here. And actually, if you refer to the... Uh, original document, which is uh, the methodology uh, report uh, for FEMA P58, uh, you will see that uh, there is an entire section for conducting the simplified analysis uh, procedure or simplified analysis method. And essentially how this works, it works by developing a very simple uh, shear model uh, that uh, a linear elastic model that's going to be uh, analyzed under uh, some distribution of lateral forces. And then the obtained elastic uh, engineering demand parameters are going to be uh, corrected using uh, some uh, regression equations and correction factors to compute uh, the median uh, engineering demand parameters uh, that accounts for the nonlinear behavior. So you can read uh, more details about these procedures and its steps, which actually has been implemented inside uh, AIR uh, and can be used uh, to do a quick uh, analysis or assessment of your building without explicitly doing a nonlinear model, numerical model, and doing the dynamic analysis. So, uh, as we discussed in the previous video, if you are trying to use these last two options, you need to make sure that when you uh, start using Earl, that you will need to run it uh, not using the shortcut on your desktop, but you will need to go to the main uh, installation directory, which is typically in, the, in this path, uh, the C folder, Program Files, University of Southampton, Earl, and inside the folder that's called application, you will see the Erl executable, which you will need to uh, essentially uh, run as an administrator in order for it uh, to work. So this is what we, I have done here. And then uh, I will go to the response data and I will select a FEMA P58 simplified analysis method. By clicking next, uh, next thing is to define uh, the parameters uh, of this uh, model. Again, this is a multi-degree of freedom uh, shear model that you will need to define its properties, but this one is an elastic model, so the only thing that you need to provide is essentially the elastic stiffness of each uh, story. So you can define this using uh, the pre-formatted uh, Excel file that you see over here. So I have this template for the FEMA P50H shear model. If I open it, uh, essentially you will need to define uh, the story heights in whatever units uh, of your project. So here I'm using inches because I'm using imperial units. You will need to define the gravity load at each floor you will need to define the mass at each floor and since it's an elastic model then you will just need to define the elastic stiffness which is the story force, shear force versus the story relative uh, uh, displacement or drift. So I have the values here. So those are the ones I'm going to use in my model. So you just need to go over here and browse for this Excel file from the supporting document. So I will browse for this Excel file and now it says export OK and you have the, this indicator uh, light turning green. 
Now, besides this, you will need to define number of uh, other parameters uh, related to your system. Uh, in particular, you will need to define the yield shear uh, force that causes first yield in your building. Uh, again, in the units of your project, so in this case it will be in KIP. Uh, you will need to define the story drift ratio uh, at yield as a percentage uh, radian. You will need to define the spectral acceleration at the first mode period of your structure. You will need to define the spectral acceleration at one second. Uh, you will need to define the peak ground acceleration, the first mode period of your structure, and uh, the soil class. A, B, C, D, and E. Uh, you will need to define the system type. Is it an ex uh, eccentric braced frame, uh, uh, buckling restrained braced frame, a moment frame, or a shear wall? So this you will need to define here. Uh, you will need also to define the ground motion prediction equation location. Uh, that is uh, uh, Western. Uh, North America or the Central United States, Southern Eastern or the Pacific North, West. So, based on those definitions, then the analysis can be run. So, right now, uh, if I want to start by uh, providing the period of the structure, again, we don't know exactly what is the period, but then you can click on this button here, Get Period, in order to run a quick eigenvalue analysis using the properties that you have defined over here. So if I click on this one, so you can see that uh, the computed T1 is actually uh, 0.34 uh, seconds. So that's the period of uh, my uh, structure. So uh, all you need to do is, uh, I will modify this actually to 0.34. Uh, let's say that the soil class will be uh, C in this case. Uh, the system type, uh, let's say it's a moment frame. And okay, let's say that the ground motion prediction equation location is based on the Western North America location. Uh, and uh, you will need some other uh, values for the peak ground acceleration, the spectral acceleration at T1. So you can assume those values, of course, depending on your uh, particular project or your particular building. So for the shear force, if we go from the top, uh, you can provide the value of the shear force that will cause first yield. Uh, or you can click on this estimate uh, button, which will uh, essentially estimate the shear force value using uh, FEMA P58 judgment method, which again, if you go to the uh, actual procedure, you will see the main assumptions and how does this work. Uh, speaking of assumptions, again, there is some applicability limitations to uh, the FEMA P58 simplified analysis method with respect to uh, the period of the structure, how uh, high is it, and uh, other things that you need to be aware of. So it's, you cannot apply it to any case. Uh, so here I can click on Estimate, for instance. And if I click on Estimate, you will need to provide further uh, parameters in order to estimate the value of Vy. These parameters are essentially the response modification factors of, of your uh, building. Uh, that is the overstrength factor and the response modification factor R the strength modification factor R, and the importance factor I. So I can say, for instance, uh, omega or the overstrength is 3, and R is, uh, let's say, 5. I click Submit, and then automatically uh, VY is being computed uh, over here. I will say that this first yield will occur at uh, a yield drift, a story drift ratio of 0.5% radian. Uh, the spectral acceleration at T1, uh, let's say that this is, um, uh, for instance, 0.5G, and the spectral acceleration at 1 second for the short period, essentially, let's say that this is 1.2. Uh, 
and the peak ground acceleration we can say this uh, let's keep it at 0.4 that's fine so now that everything is being defined you can start by running the model again this is an elastic linear model that will be analyzed and then the EDPs will be corrected to account for nonlinearity. So it's very quick analysis. So if I click, uh, if I click right now, uh, run. So that's it. It's almost two seconds, and the EDPs generation is done. That's it. You can click on plot uh, EDPs to uh, view uh, how. So again, the data that are being, uh, the engineering demand parameters that are being generated in this case are the storage drift ratio, SDR, the lateral uh, residual drift ratio, or RDR, the peak floor acceleration, or PFA, the peak floor velocity, or PFV. What you see here is essentially the median value, the red line, the profile along the height, and you can see in uh, blue lines, you, see, you can see the dispersion, essentially, of uh, these median values. So the 16th and the 84th percentile uh, values. Because again, the FEMA P58 it doesn't, uh, provide, it doesn't do analysis for a number of ground motion. No, it just provides you with the median and dispersion uh, estimates at each uh, story or at each floor. So now that everything seems uh, or looks fine, then you can just uh, proceed by closing this and again closing this one. And once you do that, you can see here that the response data, uh, it says here that it's green and it says that FEMA P58 SAM or Simplified Analysis, uh, analysis Method. So this means that everything is correct. Uh, you can check again, as always, you can check using the scope uh, you can see here the response data. It says FEMA P58 simplified analysis method, and uh, you can see the name of the Excel file that you used to import the system properties, the T1 that you used, the, the PGA, the yield uh, uh, drift ratio, and all the other parameters. And again, once this is defined, the rest remain the same, and computation uh, can be done. Uh, for the loss assessment. Thank you.